In this clip, we're going to look at installing and maintaining the diamond inside the dial line cutting head. All right, your dial line's been running now for uh, quite some time, um, and now it's time to uh, change out the orifice or put in a new uh, diamond, or maybe you would just want to inspect the diamond. Uh, you'll find that AccuStream allows you to send it back to the factory, uh, and you can pop in a ruby and run that for a while while the factory inspects your diamond if so needed. So let's talk about getting your, uh, your diamond out. Um, the diamond's been in there for a while and the first thing you want to do is get it to a clean environment. What hopefully should happen or be able, uh, allow you to be able to happen is turn the head upside down in a clean environment. Simply tap it and it will come out. Okay, we're at our workbench. We've tried to get the dial line diamond out by tapping and it's not coming out, um, which is, is, is more typical than having it come out. Um, it is a precision cavity, things are tight. Um, so it may take a little bit of tapping to get the diamond out from the bottom side. So the easiest way to do this is gonna be to unscrew uh, your abrasive inlet tube. Let's take out our nozzle nut, okay. Now, inside the cutting head, we are going to have our abrasive uh, wear insert, at which point we're going to need to unscrew uh, with the set screw here. It takes a 5 64th um, Allen key. And simply back that off ever so slightly. It won't take that much. And now what we're going to need to do is take a gauge pin. You want to use probably a 280 or less gauge pin. I typically use a 277 and we're going to slip that up in the bottom and at which point we are going to put that on a hard surface we're using a mat here but you can it's nice to use a mat you simply want to put your hands down and push and what's going to pop out is going to be the diamond and the mixing chamber diamonds are shipped in a plastic container um, it's going to have a lot number uh, for our internal tracking and it's also going to have the size, ensuring that your size stated here is the same as what you have ordered. Uh, when you open up the uh, cap, it's going to have a, uh, a warning or a suggestion, not a suggestion, but a warning basically saying um, make sure that you put the red side up. Once we look at the diamond, you'll see there will be a red dot. That is signifying what side needs to stay up uh, or which the top side shows the diamond. On the side of every diamond, you're also going to have a laser mark size. Again, noticing that the size that's on the side is what you've ordered. I find it easiest to put the diamond upside down on my finger, hold the cutting head at a slight angle, and gently get it into that precision cavity. It is a real nice tight fit, ensuring perfect angle or uh, ensuring perfect alignment. Excuse me. Again, showing the red dot facing out. Know.